Welcome to Firestorm Games and another episode of The Hobby Table. In this video, we're continuing our look at the new Adeptus Custodians releases by looking at the Virtus Praetors. Now, these are the custodians equipped with jet bikes, as you can see on the front of the box here. We get three of them in this set. And in this video, much like the rest of the Hobby Table videos, I will be building one of these models up, talking about the kit and also offering my opinions on it as well. So let's get started and get this box opened. So the first thing that we have in this set is a choice of two different types of bases. We get some regular oval shaped bases as well as three clear flying bases with flying stands as well. So you actually get a choice of how you want to equip your jet bikes. In addition to that, we also get an instruction booklet, which is full color. It has all the components numbered, very clear instructions, which really helps to assemble these miniatures. In addition to this, we also get the rules listings at the back of this booklet as well. Now, in addition to all those, we actually get the sprues themselves. Now, the actual kit itself is spread out over three sprues, and a number of these sprues are actually share the same components, but I will discuss that more later on. So let's get one of these miniatures assembled. Now the first area I'll be assembling will be the jet bike itself. Now the first thing that actually stands out to me about this particular kit is the fact that the custodian is pretty much a completely separate component from the bike, which means if you wanted to use this bike for any other conversions or any other items, you wouldn't have to worry about removing any legs or fixed items from the kit itself. It's pretty much just a separate item. In fact, the only item of the custodian that's affixed to this is one hand which is holding on one to, onto uh, the actual steering handle itself. So apart from that, the kit itself is pretty much standard across the three um, custodians we get in this set. The only options we get for customization come in the front of the vehicle itself where you get to choose between bolters or some missile pods instead. So as I briefly mentioned earlier on, this is where all of those similar components are actually matched across the three individual sprues that we get in the set. Now the jet bike itself is really ornate, it's really well built, it's slightly smaller than the jet bikes that we have for the 30k Heresy era, but also probably slightly bigger than the Dark Angels jet bike that we have as well. So it fits really nicely with the lore. It's very ornate looking, it's covered in that uh, eagle iconography, you've got this giant eagle, not quite an aquila as it's only got a single head, but that's mounted on the front and it, it just looks very, very imperial in its appearance and very kind of archaeotech as well. So with our jet bike assembled, let's move on to assembling the custodian who's riding it. So the Custodian Riders are actually where we start to get some variance in between the three models that we have in this set, but there isn't really much in the way of difference between these. We have slightly different plumes coming from the helmets, and also slightly different positions of the weapons as well. But apart from those, we don't really get much in the way of customization for this set. The actual uh, helmets themselves, we get three of them, which are all identical. And we do get an option for a bear head, but that's more if you want to have a shield captain who's mounted on a jet bike instead. So again, that isn't really a level of customization. So if you did want to run a number of these in your force, chances are you'll probably find that you're repeating the same poses over and again. So whilst we don't get much in the way of customization in this set, the actual miniatures themselves really do look fantastic. One thing in particular that I really like about these Virtus Praetors is the armor that they're wearing. It's considerably different from any of the other custodians we've seen, be it the Alaris, the Wardens, or even the regular custodian guard. It's a lot sleeker, it's a lot more aerodynamic, and also looks a lot lighter as well, especially around the leg area. Where the other miniatures are equipped with full armor placing in those areas, these are pretty much just the cloth coverings that we have on the hands and around the legs. It's small details like these which help to give the impression that these miniatures are designed to be a lot faster than their foot-based brethren. Another detail about this miniature that I really like is the interceptor lance that they're equipped with. It's very much reminiscent of the Jousting Knight's lances with having a long handle and a conical handguard. It very much kind of gives these miniatures a knightly appearance, which kind of harks back to them being the protectors of the Emperor. So now that we've spoken about this miniature for a little bit, let's get it fully assembled and take a look at the finished miniature. And here we have the fully assembled Virtus Praetor. Now overall this kit is fantastic, all those miniatures are really well detailed, they're actually uh, very well cast as well. I really like the, the styling of these models as well, and the fact that we've got jet bikes really cements the Custodians as being the elite of the Imperial forces, because this technology is really rare now, and since the uh, Horus Heresy, these kind of jet bikes haven't really been seen in common use at all. Now whilst there are some restrictions about the customizability of this kit and also the poseability, it's not too big of an issue because the Custodians are going to be traditionally a small force so you won't have too much repetition amongst your units. 
So if you're currently looking to pick up a set of these Virtus Praetors for yourself, their RRP is £35. However, they are currently available on the Firestorm Games web store for £29.75. And I'll include a link in the description below, which will take you directly to their page on the store. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comments below, along with your suggestions for other videos you would like to see us tackle in the future. And so the only thing left to say is thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.